Hi, 10th Frame Gamer here. We are watching Jeff navigate his way on some dry lanes here. Uh, this is the bowling center that did forget to oil a couple of times. And they did remember to put some oil down right now, but not that much. But you could say that one and two are usually on the drier side, especially one. But now nah, they usually one and two have more oil than this and one does break down faster. But this is barely the first game and we're already all the way to the left with the weakest looking ball that you can get, the Tropical Surge. Not to mention this bowling center is notorious for just having the most random shots put down. Uh, not purposefully, they just seem to hit the random button on the oil machine. You could get 60 feet of oil, you could get 20 feet of oil, you could get just uh, all sorts of weird stuff. And uh, you know, we're gonna go take a trip back in time here in a second to really see how it is. And coincidentally, we're on 40 way back when. This was, I believe, the second time they forgot to oil. And Jeff's lining up to throw his shot, and we uh, oh, I go, what, hey, well, it got to the arrows, and that's what matters. But it's just a regular occurrence at this center where it's dry, it's wet, it's just, it's all over the place. And not to say that it's unscorable, but you just don't know what's going to happen. And we're trying to manage it right now. It looks like Jeff switched to a plastic ball because that's what we need to do. The plastic ball will allow us to stay over to the right because it's supposed to go dead straight. It's not supposed to hook at all. It's drilled to go straight. It's not drilled for any sort of hook, any sort of help at all other than going straight. That was a little danger shot right there it actually went high. Which just shows how dry these lanes really are. Uh, the plastic ball just wants to take off. But it does allow us to play to the right because you you don't want to hook hooking lanes. The, the lanes are already hooking. They don't need help. And as soon as you give it any help, the, you're going through the face. Brooklyn are worse. Brooklyn's are, you know, hey, I'll take Brooklyn's all day, but you don't want to go through the face. And it'll easily happen on these drill lanes. Even the plastic ball wants to go. So it takes a lot to maintain the proper speed and the proper angle to get the plastic ball to move into the pocket without even ringing a 10 at best. And another decent shot. So this is a good example of, of having a ball in your arsenal that is drilled to, to do nothing. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the plastic ball to be that. It could be, but yeah, it's just, you, you never know. Or even if you're going to go on a pattern that you know is going to be super short or and really hooky. Because you could flatten out your hand and do all that stuff, but sometimes it, it just doesn't want to make it to the spot. And, and move even when you flatten it out. Whoa, hey, Alex is showing up. Looks like you're gonna have a little intermission here. Jeff is on, what is that, five in a row now? But Alex came by to, I guess, check to see if the machines are resetting properly. Thank you, Alex, everything seems to be good. Oh, nope, wait, maybe not, not in his eyes. He's still trying, he's still fiddling. Fiddling on the roof here, except uh, inside and not on the roof. All right, he seems happy with it. And he's walking off. Hey, and here's Jeff lining up to try and make it six in a row with his plastic ball. And there he goes, releases it. Looks like it's on point. He's walking over there, realizes there's a wall, and has to make a quick turn again. Everything looking good for him and that plastic ball right now, even with Alex's intermission to making sure that the reset buttons work. Uh, and there he goes, trying to make it seven. Doing a little dance, doing a little, ooh, nice moves. Jeff might actually do something interesting. He's already showing a little bit more emotion than he normally does. He always looks so miserable and sad. Trying to remember his Sasquatchy days in the forest. A single tear always forms in his eyes when he talks about it. And he releases it for eight in a row. He liked it. He liked it. He's going, he's wiping the sweat off his forehead. It's pretty hot in there. It's very hot in there. And here we go. He's looking for nine. He might he might do something interesting for once. He really he throws it, pops a squat, boom, man. All right, takes a seat right on the approach. But he likes it. He's doing so. He's doing something, man. I'm excited. And so here we are in the tenth frame. He's looking to keep it going. A little bit to the outside. Oh my god. Hey, it comes back. Comes back, so the, the lanes must be breaking down a little bit. Hopefully, he realizes it. 
It's probably all nervous though. These lanes are dry and the plastic ball's starting to take off. And here we go, throwing it. It's a little left. Ooh, that goes way left. Oh my goodness. Kicking up his knee and high stepping his way on off the approach. Ooh boy, it's getting dicey out there. Uh, but here we go. The final ball. Will he finally achieve something of interest and crack a smile? Here we go, it's on its way. It's looking at it. Oh no! 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 Oh man, he goes full, full on disappointed mode. Uh, but he doesn't look any different than normal. Ah, well, maybe next time. Uh, just want to show off how dry the lanes were and what you could do with the ball that does nothing. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time here on 10th Frame Gamer. Have a good one.